Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough video and we are continuing the parallel campaign of the Dream Eater cycle and we are playing the B side, uh, to be exact, uh, the 2B scenario, a thousand shapes of horror with parallel Roland. And uh, we got eight experience from the last scenario. So let's quickly go to Arkham cdb.com and look what upgrades I did to the, the deck. Okay, and we are over on Ar uh, arkhamcdb.com and uh, the only cards I changed in the deck were uh, I removed two of the prepared for the worst, level zeros, and added uh, two prepared for the worst, level two, or two experienced versions of them. These let me search the top nine cards of my deck for a weapon and uh, at, as a same action uh, play that weapon onto the table uh, paying its co cost. So that saves me an action if I need to look for the runic axe and talking about the runic axe I did some uh, upgrades to uh, the customization there so now it has the hair loom trade so uh, the asset gets minus one cost and gains the relic trait. Also, inscription of glory, so it heals damage and horror. And uh, we had already the inscription of fury and ancient power on it. So that is the runic axe upgraded. And because Roland can only take uh, uh, guardian gu cards level uh, zero to three, we can't upgrade the runic axe anymore. Uh, we also upgraded the hunter's armor a bit. So we took uh, two experience on it uh, to get gain lightweight. So now it costs minus one experience, uh, no, uh, minus one cost, and it doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. So if we are in a cluster situation, we can play this even if we have enemies engaged with us. Uh, that's everything I changed into the deck. So let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and uh, we have set up the scenario. So, uh, in the last scenario, we managed to uh, get Randolph Carter uh, from the hospital, and then we met uh, the black cat in the alleyway, and uh, we decided to pick the option that the black cat has a hunch, so we didn't get any new tokens into our bag or remove any tokens from the other bag or anything like that. We just marked in both campaign logs that the black cat has a hunch. Then uh, we uh, in this scenario uh, we need to find a way into the dreamlands. Uh, we start here from the burial ground. There is a text that ghoul enemies uh, drawn spawn at burial ground instead of its normal location. So if we draw ghouls from the encounter deck, they spawn here, not anywhere else. We need to find a way into the dreamlands. So uh, let's <laughs> hope we can find one. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So, we have the um, directives in play. We have to use the same directives throughout the campaign. So, let's draw our opening hand of five cards. And let's see how this starts. So, flashlight. Scene of the crime, Hunter's Armor, Vicious Blow, and Hallowed Mirror. Well, I think I will keep that and Hard Mulligan or the Axe. So four cards, we get Steadfast, Runic Axe, Roland's uh, 38 Special, and we redraw that to uh, Drawn to the Flame. So great Mulligan there. Now we have enough resources to first action, uh, play scene of the crime, grab this clue, spend the clue immediately to remember that uh, and investigators noticed the missing bones. So we get the victory point location cleared, spend the clue and get that check marked. And we also have resources to play the runic axe immediately because it's uh, cheapened because of the heirloom upgrade on it. Okay, well, let's immediately start. We'll immediately, uh, I will actually trigger uh, uh, this directive. So uh, you cannot 
fight more than twice each round, but during a skill test, no, uh, the, it's this one. You cannot play more than two cards each round. When you play an insight or tactic event, so uh, the scene of the crime is an insight. So we can uh, play that as a fast action. So uh, we, as a first action, but as a fast action, we'll play that. We'll grab this blue. So we haven't spent an action yet. First action of the game, we will play the Runic Axe. So it has charges. Where are my charges? Over here. So four charges on it. So we are geared up to fight some ghouls or whatever comes our way. Then uh, we'll do the first action to spend a clue. <clears throat> and we'll mark that we have uh, noticed the missing bones here. So our second action is to move over here, and it is the entryway. Two Stroud, one Clue, fast trigger ability, investigators in the entryway, spend one Clue per investigator as a group, reveal the upstairs hallway. And uh, fast action, if the <coughs> unnameable has one or more damage on it, smoke trails of the creature leading to a tomb near the center of the cemetery outside, put the set aside unmarked tomb location into play. So we have uh, the attic and the unmarked tomb locations are set aside out of play, uh, but uh, we uh, can't do anything about that yet. So last action, I will just try to investigate here. Uh, I am investigating, let's see, three versus, uh, I'm committing the Roland's 38 special to this test, so four versus two just to keep the momentum going. Uh, skull and Skull is a minus one, uh, minus three instead if you are at a graveyard location. So we grab this clue and we'll immediately spend it to reveal the upstairs hallway. This is because we need to go there later, so might as well do that immediately. So that is our first turn. We got a lot, lot done on the first turn. So yeah, we have to pay for the axe. So uh, we ready up, we draw a card, we get crack the case a bit late, but it is what it is, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add one doom, so one of five. The first encounter card of the game is Swarm of Rats. So the Swarm of Rats engages us. So that is easy pickings for Roland. I think we're just punching it. No um, point in spending the runic axe for this. So first action, we will punch the rats four versus one. Uh, zero, uh, we defeat the rats. Second action, uh, let's investigate these uh, rooms here. So let's go to this side. It is the den, uh, four shroud. Two clues per investigator. After you, su you successfully investigate that, then uh, discard one card from your hand. Discover an additional clue at this location. And uh, investigators in the den spend one clue per, per investigator as a group. Remember that the investigators study the de desecrated portrait. Uh, I think we are not even investigating here. We are just playing. Uh, as a last action, uh, drawn to the flame. So, uh, we reveal an encounter card. Another swarm of rats who shuffled this deck. Well, uh, well, those rats will bite us, but we'll get two clues. And we immediately spend one of the clues to uh, study a uh, desecrated portrait over here. So, we'll go to the enemy phase, so this enemy hits us for one damage, not that bad yet. We'll go to upkeep, we, oh yeah, uh, we cracked the case here, so we'll gain four resources. Mm. Yeah, and the ability here was that if you successfully investigate, but we didn't investigate, we just drawn to the flamed. So one, two, three, four. So we are at five resources. And 
we'll draw a card at the upkeep. We get Hunter's Armor, which is good, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this round is Obscuring for Well, that fizzles. That's good. So, uh, first action, we'll just punch the rats again. So, four versus one. Plus one. So, these rats are dead. Second action, I will play the Hunter's Armor. Costs only three. And last action, we'll move over here. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, prepare for the worst. Well, it's good for the icons at least, and we gain a resource. So that was a quick round, so let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, and counter card for this round is Glowing Eyes. So, Revelation, put Glowing Eyes into play in your threat area. Force at the end of the round, take one horror for each card in your threat area to a maximum of three horror. Discard Glowing Eyes. So these are not in my threat area, so we have only that card in our threat area, so we'll continue. Uh, first action, we'll move to downstairs doorway number two. It is the parlor. It is a two shroud location with one clue. For each investigator at the parlor, it gets plus one shroud. And uh, fast trigger ability, if the unnameable has two or more damage on it, the mirror gleams unnaturally, revealing a... A glint of silver. Remember that the investigators recovered a strange key. Uh, well, that we can't do yet. So, one clue here. I think we are trying to investigate. So, I'm committing the prepared for the war. So, investigating four versus uh, two. Skull, and we are not in a, in a graveyard location. So, it's minus one. We'll grab this clue. And we'll move a second time back here, and that is our turn. So quick turns now at the mm, at the end of the round. So we'll do the upkeep first. So we'll draw a card. Paranoia. We'll lose all of our resources. Then we gain one resource. Well, lucky we blade the hunter's armor before the paranoia hit, and we gain a resource. Then we'll take one horror for this card, and. Uh, that's our turn, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, so four of five, so we are close to advancing. Uh, encounter card is Night Terror, so put Night Terrors in the play in your threat area. Forced, after you fail a skill test, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw each weakness revealed this way and remove the other cards from the game. Action, if uh, Night Terrors is in your threat area, test will power four. After this test ends, Discard Night Terrors, even if you fail. So, I am uh, committing the Steadfast to this test, so I am testing 5 versus 1. Uh, 5 versus 4. No, uh, this gives me 3, so I'm 6 versus 4. Elder Sign. So, I will... Uh, well, I'll just ignore the you can't play cards because we're not moving that much this round. So we get rid of this as our first action. Second action, we'll move to the upstairs hallway. So uh, investigators in the upstairs hallway spend one clues as a group with the set aside attic location into play. So we'll do that immediately. Spending the clue and we'll get the attic. And uh, I don't have room up here, so the attic will be here, but it's connected to the upstairs hallway. And we will move to the attic. So, attic is a four shroud location with one clue. Uh, if investigators in the attic spend one clue as a group deep within a pile of monster stalks, you see a glint of silver. Remember that the investigators recovered a strange key. So, I will do that also immediately. So, we done this and we've done this. There's still the clue here. And that is our round, so no enemies will go to upkeep, we draw Hallowed Mirror, and we gain a resource. 
So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are a doom, so the agenda advances. And it is the unnameable. So spawn attic or upstairs hallway. So we spawn it into the attic. See this. Uh, aloof hunter cannot be defeated. Uh, for each of the following which are true, the unnameable gets minus one and minus uh, minus one fight and minus one evade. Uh, the investigators found a cracked mirror, studied, decorated portrait, or noticed the missing bond. So we have done two of those. So this is a three dash three enemy, and it is not massive yet. So we'll mark where it moves, and it is aloof, so it doesn't engage us. Luckily, so we can move away from it. Then, the thing with no name, so each swarm of rat gains swarming one. Pause at the start of your turn. If the unnameable is re ready and at your location, test will power through. If you fail, it attacks you, uh, even if it is not engaged. So, even if it's uh, uh, aloof, it will attack us. So, I'm committing the hallowed mirror, the test. I don't think we need it this game. We are set up with the uh, soak and uh, fighting. So I'm testing 4 versus 2. Minus 4. So the unnameable attacks us for 2 damage and 2 horror. Ouch. Uh, I'll just actually change these to 3. So. So, 3 horror, and we have 3 damage also. Well, that sucked. Well, uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, did we pull an encounter card here? No, we didn't. Yeah, so we did that in a wrong order. So, uh, first we get an encounter card. It is the locked door, so this is locked. I think we will forget about this clue, unfortunately. Uh, we don't have good ways to investigate this round, so we'll just leave this be. So, first action, we'll move to the attic, uh, from the attic to the upstairs hallway. Second move, we'll go to the upstairs doorway, and it is the library. One shroud, one clue. As an additional course to investigate the library, you must either lose one action or take one more. Uh, first, trigger the ability. Investigators in the library spend one clues as a group. You read a strange journal entry regarding one of the graves in the burial ground outside. Put the set aside unmarked tomb location. Okay, okay well, that is one way to get the unmarked tomb location so that we can get. Uh, forward in this scenario. So last action. We will take a horror and investigate and we are investigating three versus one. So minus one. So we get this clue so we can spend it immediately. Oh and this is also a victory point location which is great. So we'll get this unmarked tomb location here. And that is our turn. Enemy phase. This hunts to the upstairs hallway. We'll go to upkeep. We draw guts and we gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. One of six. Encounter card for this round is... Hunting Ghast. So, Hunter, most damage. After Hunting Ghast enters a location with a Gog enemy, ready each Gog enemy at its location and deal one damage to Hunting Ghast. So, this engages us. So, we'll just uh, first action uh, fight. So, we are using the Runic Axe and we'll uh, spend one clue to uh, one charge on it to uh, deal two damage. So we'll use the power 
do I need to use anything else? No, not at this point. So we'll use that. So you are fighting five versus two. Minus one. We deal two damage and this is defeated. Then we'll move and we'll move. And that is our turn. Enemy face this hunts here. Up, uh, it is aloof so we it doesn't hit us. Upkeep, we draw another guts and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card for this round is... Glowing eyes. So it goes to our threat area and at the end of the round... Uh, we take one horror for each card in our threat area. Then at the start of our turn... Uh, we'll test uh, if the unnamed bro hits us, but we'll use guts, so we are uh, 5 versus 2. Minus 1. We pass, we draw a card from the guts. We get flashlight. Uh, first two action is move, move to the unmarked tomb. And uh, unmarked tomb, uh, 3 shroud, 1 clue. Objective at the end of the round is each undefeated investigator is at unmarked tomb and the investigator recovered a strange key advanced the act. So now we as our last action I think we will try uh no uh, I think we'll do that next round. So uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have a hand, <coughs> hand slot because I don't have the bandolier, so I'm trying to investigate as our last action. So, uh, we are investigating uh, 4 versus 3. And uh, now, uh, this is a graveyard location, uh, so skulls are a minus 3, not a minus 1. So... Four versus three, hoping to get this clue so we get the victory points. And it is the auto fail, so no chance there. But uh, end of the round, yeah. So first uh, we go to the enemy phase. This hunts here. Upkeep, we draw a card, another runic axe, and. Oh yeah, this uh, replenished one charge at the end of uh, the start of this round, and we gain a resource also. So at the end of the round, we will advance so uh, into the depths. So set the unnameable aside. It keeps all tokens and attachments. So I'll just mark this and. This on it, so these are minus one stats for it, and we'll set it up here. Then we get these cards into the victory display. These go away. So we didn't get to explore that location, we didn't get uh, that location cleared. And this goes away, so we'll take uh, one horror. I'll put it onto the hunter's armor. Now we'll put it on here. Okay, so this go away. Okay, remove each location from the game, we did that. We don't need this anymore. Then, uh, shuffle the setups at Mysterious Stairs location and put five of them into play in the vertical line. Remove uh, the remaining Mysterious Stairs location from the game. Uh, place each investigator at the set aside the unnameable enemy at the topmost Mysterious Stairs location, revealing it. Search the encounter deck and discard file for both copies of locked door and both copies of secrets in the attic and remove them from the game. Shuffle each set aside copy of endless descent into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard file. 
So I'll do that between turns so I won't take up <laughs> time at, uh, during the video. So we'll set up that for next round. And uh, this went away, we didn't clear the clue. So next round we have the objective, the endless stairs. While the bottommost mysterious stairs location is revealed, it gains action resign. Objective reads the bottom of the stairs. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. So we are trying to get to the bottom of the stairs. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we are ready to begin the next round. So uh, we have the staircase here and the unnameable is at this location with us. Um, we actually need to put one clue here also. So... Mm, yeah, so this location reads... Um, Mysterious stairs is connected to the location above and below it. Uh, while there are no clues on this location, investigator at this location cannot move or resign. Uh, so we need to get rid of that clue here somehow. So we add a doom and counter card. So this round is a ga hunting gas. So we'll just kick the, its teeth in first action. We'll double deal damage on it. Actually. I will investigate using. Uh, I have one in enemy engaged with me, so I am actually investigating first. So I'll get plus two to the skill test. And uh, we'll exhaust this. So uh, while in yeah, while investigating, evading, or piling, exhaust the, this directive, you get plus two skill value. For this uh, test for each enemy engage with you. So we are now investigating five versus four. And this actually hits us for one damage or four. And we'll put it on the hunting hunter's armor. Okay. So five versus four. Minus one. So we actually get this clue, which is great. Now we can and second action, just kill this guy. Uh, yeah, so we'll spend one. And we'll commit this to be... Now we are five versus... Two already, so... Five versus two. Just looking at what what do the special tokens do? So uh, elder thing is a minus two. If you fail, you must either place one of your clues at the location or take one damage and uh, reveal another token for the cultist. If you fail and the unnameable is in play, it attacks you regardless of its location. Okay, well, five versus two. It is a zero. So this guy is dead, and um, uh, because we have the inscription of fury, uh, if this attack is, uh, oh yeah, we have to add, add this inscription if we want to do, use that. Well, we just ignore that. So that is dead. Last action, we move to this location. So three throughout no clues. Mysterious stairs is connected to the location above and below it. Uh, while there is a ready enemy at this location, investigators at this location cannot move or resign. Uh, Force. When this location is revealed, search the encounter deck and discard files for a cool enemy and spawn it at this location. Shuffle the encounter deck. So the ghoul isn't the problem. It is the unnameable who will move to this location in a moment. So we'll get a cool minion, but it is only Shroud of Two, so we could try to evade with the help of this directive. Oh uh, no. So we could uh, 
engage the unnameable, use the directive evade and kill this. So engage, evade, and we still need to kill this, so that doesn't work. We need that extra action. Well, anyway, this guy is engaged with us. We have to figure out the, how to deal with this uh, the next one. Okay, so that is the end of our turn. Enemy phase. The unnameable hunts over here. I think I forgot to test uh, the unnameable test last round, so I'll do it now. So we are uh, three versus two. And it is a minus one. Okay, so this guy hits us. So we passed the unnameable test. One damage and horror. So we are uh, we have we are running out of horror or uh, sanity. But it is what it is. So okay, we ready up. We draw perception and we get a resource. That is good. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, a long way to go yet. So we had. One more Doom, so 4 of 6, Encounter card is Threats of Reality, so uh, attached to the non-permanent, non-weakness asset you control with the highest printed cost. Uh, otherwise, Threats of Reality gain search. Treat its asset as if its printed text box were blank, so we'll just put it on this. So basically, the Hunter's Armor's text box is blank, so it still has and that stuff, but it's no longer a relic and we can't equip it with minus one cost. So these are uh, actually the same cost, so that doesn't matter at all at this point. Okay, now we need to de test the unnameable, so I'm using the cuts. Uh, five versus two. Minus three. Well, we succeed and we'll draw a card. Uh, prepared for the worst. Well, that's that's good. So I think this round we will. Uh, how can uh, so? While there is already enemy at this location, the together at this location cannot move or resign. When this location is revealed, search the encounter. Yeah. So basically, we will just kill the ghoul minion this round. Draw some cards. And hopefully next round we are uh, able to engage and evade this guy somehow. We have one agility here and we can use the, this directive, which is ready already. Uh, okay, well, uh, this replenished at the start of the round. So first action will just spend one hit the ghoul. So we are hitting five versus two, zero. This enemy is defeated, so of course we took the plus one damage. Uh, second action, we'll draw a card, bandolier. Oh yeah, this actually takes up some arcane slots, which I forgot. Uh, do we want to play the bandolier? No, we'll draw a card, vicious blow. Okay, so... That, does, that is our turn, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we draw... Shortcut, which helps us because now uh, we can use that agility to evade and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, 5 of 6, and counter card is, and please don't be an enemy. It is an enemy. So, uh, yeah. Well, we do the same as last round, so first uh, we'll pre uh, replenish that. Then we don't ha have any uh, willpower icons we want to spend. So I'm doing the test uh, 3 versus 2 against the unnameable. So minus 1, we pass. Uh, we will kill this enemy. 5 versus 2. Minus one, that is a dead guy. 
and uh, second action is draw a card. Um, actually, let's play bandolier. And uh, last action, draw a card. Flashlight, so could be useful with the bandolier. So then uh, this bandolier takes up one of these Runicax hand slots and uh, then we can play the flashlight to our uh, free hand. So no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card, another shortcut and we get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, so this advances, so we are at the final agenda, and now things get interesting. So, it grows bolder. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck, and uh, each swarm rat gains swarming tool. The unnameable loses aloof and gains massive, so just move this guy over here, and it is engaged with us. Okay, and uh, at the start of your turn, if the unnameable is ready and at your location, test will go through. If you fail, attack, it attacks you. So the same, and we have seven Doom Threshold on this. So we still need to shovel the Encounter Discard Pile into the Encounter Deck. And we are running out of time. We need to get mo moving. Um, this is a uh, really annoying location because basically if you keep drawing enemies uh, you might be stuck here for a while so let's see okay and uh, yeah we need to draw an encounter card and it is the crypt chill so lucky we have the hunter's armor that we could just lose if we don't uh, succeed in this. I don't want to use any of my willpower icons for this. So uh, we are three versus four minus one. So we fail. Uh, I lose the hunter's armor, and this goes into the discard. Okay. Now, uh, we, uh, as a first action, we will evade this uh, unnameable. And I am using this. So, evading 4 versus 3, 5 versus 3, 6 versus 3. So, committing these two. And of course, it's a plus one, so we evade the unnameable. So that's a success. Uh, we will play shortcut to move. So we move over here. Three shroud, zero clues. Uh, Mysterious stairs is connected to the location above and below it. After you enter this location, lose one action. Well, that's okay. We will move again. Mysterious Stairs. Uh, Mysterious Stairs is connected to the location above and below it. Forced. When this location is revealed, place one resource per investigator on it. While there are resources on this location, investigators at this location cannot move or resign. Uh, action test your lowest skill to, if successful, discard one resource on this location. So, our lowest is uh, agility. So, Unfortunately, we don't have any agility items, so we'll just need to test this. But that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. These ready. We draw a card and we gain a resource. Oh, yeah, there's one resource here. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this round is uh, Glowing Eyes. We put this in uh, our threat area. So, uh, we are testing two versus two. 
Uh, doesn't look that good, so I am drawing a card. Take the initiative, just what we need. Second action, we'll test the agility test here, so we are 4 versus 2. Zero pass, so this is removed. Last action, we'll move to here. Let's see. Uh, first, when this location is revealed, move the unnameable to it. While the unnameable is at this location and has fewer than one damage on it, investigators at this location cannot move or resign. Well, that sucks, but at least uh, we can just hit this for one uh, one time and resign next round. But at the end, at uh, let's see. So we are going to the enemy phase. So uh, the unnameable hits us for two damage and two horror, which means we are dead. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that sucks. So the unnameable hits us for one damage and one horror. Then. At the end of the round, take one horror for each card in your threat area to a maximum of three horror. This card glowing out. We have to take one horror. And we are out of horror. Actually, we were uh, already with the attack because we have five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so didn't matter. That sucks, but what can I do? So we are defeated. Hmm. We were so close, so close. Okay, well, it is what it is, so you can forget about uh, doing this uh, secret ending at the end of the uh, A side, because we didn't get the key which we could pass on to the dream side, but yeah. Okay, well... Um, uh, if no resolution was reached, because each investigator was defeated, proceed to resolution 2. So, if the investigator recovered a strange key, proceed to resolution 3, otherwise skip to resolution 4. So, we found the strange key. If the investigator uh, in your camp will record Randolph survived the descent, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display, and that is four. Uh, your body now walks within the slumbering dreamlands. Add one skull token to the chaos pack for the remainder of the campaign. So I'm just double checking. Uh, we got defeated. We go to resolution two. Uh, in the resolution two, if the investigators recovered the strange key, which we did, proceed to resolution three. And yeah, okay, so if you are playing the uh, yeah, so we'll have to play scenario 2a, the search for Kadat next, and after that, we go to interlude to the Oineronauts, <laughs> Oineronauts. But yeah, so that was a thousand shapes of horror with uh, parallel Roland. Uh, we were close. Maybe I did a stupid thing and not discarded the bandolier. But yeah, we would have died either way, so it didn't matter. So, we got defeated, we got 4 experience. Um, next time I am playing skits in the sets for Kadat scenario, so we'll see how that goes. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.